All right, what's happening, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Me and Car Keys. So, I'm going to start this video by saying, anybody who knows me, you know I tell the truth. So, I'm going to start this video by saying, I missed the payment. <laughs> I missed the payment on my car insurance. Things happen. As you know, things, the way things are going these days with COVID and stuff, you know, everybody's having money issues. Everybody's struggling to make it. Everybody's, you know, doing the best that they can. <clears throat> so, I missed the payment. Happens. Now, my payment was due on the 6th. My car insurance payment was due on the 6th. And I missed it, and I knew I did. And I planned on paying it. When I, when I got things caught up, I had to move some things around. When I got caught up, I was going to make that payment. So, uh, a week and a half later, I went to make the payment and found out that my car insurance company canceled my policy. They canceled my policy. I'm like, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, whoa. I missed, I've been with this company for six years, a little over six years. And I missed one payment and they canceled my car insurance policy. Okay. All right. I called them up to let them know the situation and to see if I could get my policy reinstated. Because, you know, like I said, I, I went to make a payment and found out my policy was canceled. So I talked to the lady and she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Um, you should have called us and let us know. And, and <clears throat> Get a benefit of that, I did not call them and tell them that my payment would be late. Which, I mean, I understand that I could have done that. Okay, cool. They also didn't call me and tell me that they were going to cancel my policy or that they had canceled my policy at all. So, I called to see what I could do about it. Could I get my policy reinstated? And she said, um, we'll let you know. I'll, I have to get somebody to call you back. So, the lady calls me back. She says, oh, we can't reinstate your policy. We have to, do, we have to write a whole new policy for you because it's, it's, it's been too much time. A week and a half. It's been too much time and we can't just reinstate your policy like that. So I said, okay. So let's go through the facts and figures real quick. <clears throat> so for my, my truck, my F-150, my wife's car, the Mazda CX-5, I was paying $229 a month for both cars, to cover both cars for car insurance, $229 a month. Cool. So when they finally come back to tell me, okay, we finally, we were able to rewrite your new policy and for you to start your car insurance back up today. She said, due to the lapse in car insurance, which was a week and a half, right? Your payment is now to start the, the to start getting car insurance back, your down payment would be $439. <clears throat> your monthly payment would be $432. What? 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 So how does that make sense? Somebody explain this to me. How does that make sense? How do you go from paying $229 in car insurance to now paying $432 in car insurance a month just to cover your two cars. That doesn't make any sense. Like somebody some, somebody make that make sense to me. And the lady, she was she was really apologetic. And she said, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry this happened to you. I know everybody's dealing with something due to COVID. I'm so sorry. And you know, and I, I understand, I understand. I thank you. Thank you for being sorry for me. I understand now that that doesn't help me in this situation. How do you explain to me that I'm paying double in car insurance now just because I missed one payment? That makes sense. I mean, <clears throat> she said to me, um, I don't understand it either. I don't know how, why it's like this, but it's just how it is. And I said, sir, well, if you can't, ex if you don't understand it and you work there, how are you going to explain it to me? And I don't even, I don't understand it at all. So somebody, somebody put it in the comments. I need to, I don't understand. I just, I need some understanding. And I'm sorry, this video is just a lot of me talking and also venting myself. But how do you, how do you explain that? I just, I just, I don't understand that. I don't, I don't get that. So, we could go through a lot of details when it comes to car insurance. We can talk about how uh, you may never even use your car insurance. Like, you pay uh, hundreds of dollars a month for car insurance in case you get in an accident, right? Now, you can't compare it to health insurance. It's a whole different thing. You know, you're going to go to the doctor at some point in your life. You may get sick at some point in your life. You're going to use your health insurance. Even if you just go for checkups, you're going to get help. You're going to use your health insurance benefits. Guaranteed. Car insurance is not like that. There's a chance that you never use your car insurance. Now, car insurance covered oil changes, or they cover when you get the, need to get new tires, or, or you know something like that. Then I would understand car insurance. It would make a lot more sense. But if you're if you're depending on where you live and how you drive, there's a huge chance that you never even get in an accident, which therefore you never even use your car insurance. So I mean, I say all that to say, and, and this is the point of this video. I need somebody to explain it to me. Somebody make it make sense to me because I don't get it. My question to you is, 
Somebody please put in the comments, explain to me. The question to you is, is car insurance a scam? That's my question to the world. Is car insurance a scam? Because I don't get it. It does not make sense. I'm not the, I'm not the most well-versed person on car insurance whatsoever. But please explain it to me and please make it make sense because it does not make sense to me. Now, before I end this video, I want to say that I did reach out to, I did, I was able to get car insurance. I'm going to put it out there like that. I was able to get car insurance from a whole different company. Actually, my new company is Geico. Shout out to Geico. Thank you for, uh, you know, getting me back on the road, you know, and, and, and honestly, my new policy with Geico is actually cheaper than my policy with the, that other company that I was telling you about. So, I mean, all this could be a blessing in disguise. Um, you know, it depends on how you want to look at it, but yeah, it was just, it was just a weird situation. I just want somebody to, to explain it to me, put it in the comments. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Sorry, it was a whole bunch of me talking and, and babbling on and venting pretty much, but yeah, put it in the comments. Please tell me what you think, um, about car insurance. Is car insurance a scam? Thank you for watching. Please, uh, comment, please comment and like, and subscribe. You know, the whole routine. Thank you for watching another video on me and car keys till next time. Thank you for watching.